there's a bit, a bit of a myth around asbestos in schools in as much as that asbestos in situ in schools uh, does not present a, um, a huge safety issue. It's only when it becomes disturbed uh, that there, there is a potential issue with regard to exposure. But it's absolutely key and critical that a school has an asbestos management plan in place. That's the key thing. And the management plan will set out of what they need to do um, to prevent either pupils, members of staff or contractors from coming into the school and disturbing asbestos containing materials that either we know are in situ or the ones that we don't know are there because we can't see them. Um, so it's absolutely critical that management plan is in place and it, it will cover the things that we are doing to prevent these different ranges of people exposing us to asbestos, what training is required, what systems we have to have in place and how we share information. Legionella management is extremely important because if we don't manage the risks within our water systems then we could see the growth of Legionella bacteria in hot or cold water systems. Once we have growth of bacteria, proliferation we call it, and we have a pathway for that bacteria to reach susceptible individuals, uh, people and particularly young ones, uh, particularly those that are already ill, um, then there is a potential for them to develop uh, Legionella bacteria related diseases, um, Legionnaire's disease being um, the primary one that we would probably see. Um, so it's extremely important for a school to understand um, the risks that their water systems specifically present and that's why it's, it's so important to engage a competent uh, water management contractor um, to assess the risk of the system, conduct a Legionella risk assessment and then to recommend and implement a written scheme of control specific to the risks of that water system within that school. Slips trips around schools are the primary cause of accidents. Um, probably an obvious one, particularly when you've got little ones running around. Um, but, but slips and trips not only to, to pupils, but also to uh, visitors and members of staff as well. So doing the simple things right, making sure that staff take ownership. Um, if they see something that somebody's going to trip over, do something about it. Move it, pick it up, mop it up put a sign out, whatever, but don't just walk on by and then when you catch the caretaker 10 minutes later in the corridor, mention it. It's about taking ownership and responsibility and we can reduce the things that might seem incidental but ultimately can end up in a, a, you know, an accident that can be life-changing. It's really important to have a loan working in policy in place because, because without it, we can't um, have a structure in place to manage uh, risks around people working on their own. And that might be at the simplistic end of the scale or the low risk end of the scale, somebody working late in the office late at night. It's often the head teacher or a senior, senior leader who stays behind and everybody else has gone. And there are risks in doing that, not only because they might, they might fall or they might become unwell, uh, but also in terms of the security and the fact that somebody, some, there might be an intruder in the building, for instance, if they're on their own, potentially nobody's going to know. Um, that level of risk is, is increased when people start doing more hazardous activities around the site. So site members of staff, I suppose, is, is without a policy, uh, we might see them doing jobs in an uncontrolled way. They might be using ladders or uh, working with chemicals that they shouldn't do, so on and so forth. Um, but the, the loan working policy will give us the structure to identify where these issues are and what we accept as being the right ways of controlling those risks.